Darren Beatty has thought a lot about what Elon Musk should do to save this nation's public discourse. He edits Revolver.News, and we're happy to have him join us tonight. Darren, thanks so much for coming on. What do you think Elon Musk will do? What should he do? Well, first of all, I think he needs to understand exactly what he's getting into. He's stepping into the war zone in a way that he might not even be able to imagine at this point. As you point out, the entire regime depends on holding a total monopoly over what Elon rightly calls the global public square. Anyone who threatens that steps into territory that is not a normal financial realm. Twitter is not a normal company. The question of who controls Twitter is far more consequential than, say, who controls Home Depot, even though Home Depot is vastly larger as a company. And so Elon needs to be prepared for what's coming. It would be one of the few things that is not fake and not performative. It would amount to effectively a declaration of war on our corrupt and illegitimate regime. He must understand that. I mean, I don't know Elon Musk, but he, he sees a lot of things coming that the rest of us don't. So he must know what he's playing with here. Well, um, I would hope so. But I think it's very, it's very easy to underestimate the stakes here. The stakes of who controls the global public square are vastly more than the meager $30 billion that Twitter is allegedly worth. The stakes of who controls the global public square is more important even than an electric car company. And in fact, I would say winning the political battle in the West is more is just as relevant to the future of human civilization than even space travel. Because uh, after all, we're bringing our memes to space. Well, I, I agree with that completely. So why wouldn't, just to sum up, why, why not democratize it? Why wouldn't Musk say to the American public, if you're on board, join me in buying shares of this publicly traded company, pledge me your proxy votes, and let's take it over and restore free speech? I think that's a splendid idea. I imagine there are a variety of mechanisms, but it all catches out to this a declaration of war on the regime, and I really hope that Elon will go ahead with it, that he's not just another rich guy, that he's someone who wants to be a great man. And this is one of the few real steps that he can make, and he's one of the very few live players on this earth who's in a position to do it. I don't think you're overstating the stakes at all. Darren Beatty, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.